Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing a paid review for Stephen. And this, sorry, yes, Stephen. Uh, this is paid review 21 QA 37. Quick whist watch check. What am I wearing today? Rolex, Rolex Submarina, the 41 mil Submarina date. Okay, let's jump in. Paul slash Archie have been have enjoyed your reviews and videos for many years. My wife seems to have the same reaction every time I start binge watching your channel holy shite this guy is nuts i'm sending you my collection collection uh, my current collection uh i should really include the rolex jlc iwc breitling and glass hoot that i bought at my kids as presents but let's stick to what i am currently wearing my good watches the pictures i'm sending are stock images uh okay so he's What's this? One of the last of the carpet beetles. He's flying around. He can't stand the synthetic carpet. They're going mad, those beetles. Okie dokie. So he says here, um, uh, he goes on. So I don't understand. He does have these other watches. I'm, uh, I'm not exactly sure here. This is a bit strange. Um, Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Um uh, Okay, so so he's he's uh okay, so what's he saying to me? So he's got so he hasn't included his Rolexes in it? I mean I don't understand. Wouldn't you include okay, I suppose. So my good watches, the pictures I'm sending you are okay, he said okay. Uh, he's got an IWC Portuguese Automatic 2000 Rose Gold. Yes, sir. Limited to 750 pieces, circa 2000. Actually, that is a, that is an absolutely beautiful piece. IWC Portuguese it is, uh, how do I put it? That is absolutely beautiful. That is, that is, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The next piece he's got, he's got a, a Grand Seiko, Grand Seiko Silver Blizzard B S B G E 249 Spring Drive G GMT Limited to 250 pieces yeah okay you gotta you you can't um can't dislike grand seiko they make some amazing pieces there um it's probably not my favorite grand seiko but it is still cool then we've got a planet amiga planet ocean chrono coaxial master chronometer have the bracelet and strap Yes, okay, so he's got the, I've got to say, that is a gorgeous, I had a friend uh, who had something very similar to this, and uh, it's a chronograph, a dive watch, rotating bezel, it's pretty damn, oh, there was a GMT version as well, no, but, okay, yep, yeah, I, I, I get it, it's a, it's a beautiful watch, that. Tudor Black Bay GMT Pepsi. He's got a bracelet and the strap for that. Yes, Suri. That is a a very um I love the Pepsi. The Pepsi Tudor. Very, very cool. Then he's got a, a Panerai Pam 111 G serial number. G series. The G series was the first Luminar Marina with new crown protector, but the last with a painted dial rather than the sandwich dial. Okay. Uh, 
fair enough. Fair enough. That is a uh, yeah. Fair enough. There. That is. That is. That is a. I must say, I love the Pam one one one. It's just iconic, classic diver there. Um, so I've got to say, in all honesty, there, they're 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 pretty pretty damn cool. He then goes on to mention the shiders he's got. He's got a Tissot C Star Powermatic eighty silicon, a Tissot T Touch Racer. He's got a Seiko Air Diver two hundred special edition blue silicon strap, an Omega Seamaster one. 20 meter silver dial 1997 and an Amiga Seamaster 120 blue dial multi multi function 1996 I've sent you a hundred dollars to do the review I look forward to hearing my wife say holy shite this guy is nuts when she sees the video email or call if any questions Steve well thank you thank you so much indeed there I gotta tell you Steve looking at this collection what do i think what's the feeling there well let's let's have a look here i'm disappointed uh there's no rolex the rolex the jlc but let's just leave that out as far as the collection goes i think the iwc portuguesa absolutely classic piece you've got there that piece there you've got is um this Power reserve, sub seconds at nine, absolutely beautiful, uh, precious metal. This is an IWC dress watch of great quality. That is a beautiful piece. Then you've got the, so I would say at a 10, what would I give that? I'd give that a seven. Then we've got the, the, Grand, the, the Seiko, Grand Seiko Silver Blizzard Spring Drive GMT. Yes, I like that. I'd give that a six. The Amiga Planet Ocean Chrono Coaxial Master Chronometer. Yes, sir. I reckon that's another six. Tudor Pepsi GMT. That's a that's an eight. And the Pam. I would. I I love that series. There, I'd have to give that an eight as well. So I, I think realistically those five pieces are pretty nice pieces. You've got some the IWC's great dress watch. The Seiko Grand Seiko is like your, your everyday business work watch. The Planet Ocean, that's a no nonsense weekend wearer. You got the Tudor Pepsi. Um uh, you've got the Pam. 111, which I actually love the 111 and I love the 112 and the base logo. I think they're just simple. The simple classic PAMs are the best. That's my opinion. So you've really hit all the aces there. As for the shaders, let's be totally honest there. Let me, what do I think of these here? Uh, the Tissot Powermatic. What, what? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'd say that's okay. The Tissot T-Touch Racer. That's an ugly one. It looks like a, a children's kind of watch. You know, it's just... Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm I, sorry. That That is a no. The, um, the Seiko... The Seiko Air Diver... I don't, I don't hate that. Um, it's a cheap, crappy sort of watch. It's okay. Seiko, Seiko, Seiko. Yeah, that's that's borderline. The two Omegas. Yes, these are very 90s. The Seamaster 120. I love the bracelet on these. These are actually punching. They're just such a shame. It's That is as dated as grey... Grey, remember everyone had grey in the 90s, and pink. Remember that? You have a feature wall, you'd have pink and a grey sofa. That was the height. Grey leather sofa. That was the height of sophistication. And you had that uh, 
what's that terracotta color remember the 90s oh my god this watch is dated and it it is such a good watch but it is so dated yes it's 90s gone mad and then the final one, the other Omega, is the multifunction. These multifunctions, they always go wrong. You know that they, they, they're over-engineered. They were a good product. I'd get rid of it. Get rid of it before it plays up. And then it becomes parts. So, yeah, I think... Your shiders, i got to be totally honest with you, they're nothing special. They're really pretty bottom-of-the-barrel garbage, fermented garbage, that's what I would say. But your your other watches, I think your grade point average is averaging a 7. That's pretty good. Because there, there's no Padex, there's no Rolex, there's, you know, it's a very, very usable collection without being ridiculous. The only problem is it's a bit boring. It's boring. You need to add Rolex and a paddock. And, you know, I would add some really, add a bit more because it is a bit boring. I got to be totally honest with you, Stephen. I mean, I love you. You sent me a great fee. The Shiders, I'd give that about a 3 out of 10 for your collection of shaders. Where is your, your everyday stuff? That's about a 7. That's, that's not bad. Considering the amount of money you spent on them, the bang per buck, bang per buck ratio is pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. So, not a bad collection there. Nothing, not, nothing super amazing, but it's reasonable. It is reasonable, it's okay, and um, I think it's a little bit boring, conservative, but hey, hey, not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Guys, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need these paid reviews to survive. If you haven't done a paid review, please get one done now please guys get one done now and i will do the reviews for you 50 us dollars i'll give you advice on your collection if it's good i'll tell you it's good if it's garbage i'll tell you if it's boring i'll tell you i just tell you this guy here sent me a hundred bucks and i told him his shiders are boring and even his watch collections a little bit boring but hey i i did it in a nice way Guys, I'm Archie Luxury. Please get a paid review done. See you in the next one. See you later. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. In Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys, amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.